Welcome, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is happening for you, Aquarian. Um, for this quarter, the quarter is from April, May, and June. Okay. All right. So, Aquarian, you have uh, um the wave of prosperity, new abundance, and excite, exciting opportunities wash over you. Now, this is uh, really wonderful. It's positive. It's good. A lot of your cards are in the reverse for whatever the reasons are. So whatever hardship uh, um, that was there, um, the hardship is going to be over. The center is uh, um, some sort of a changes is going to be coming up to bring some sort of a healing that was going on. Um, you are sitting really pretty well um, in this quarter. So go check out um, your personal um, reading. This is only for the business and career. So career-wise, if a lot of you are looking for work in the month of uh, April, it's going to be good. You have uh, um, the number eight energy. Then you have the number um, six energy energy. Um, uh, no work is going to be cancelled. Um, you are going to be having the flow of work is going to be coming in. This is going to be good. So when we look at the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, it is always about um, uh, you standing in your powers. But not only that, the Eight of Pentacles is all about prosperity and it's all about uh, um, money, financial uh, situation is going to be coming in your life that is going to be helping you the eight of pentacles it is always about you are dealing with um uh work and whatever is happening and transpiring it is good because it is showing up that work and your finance will be good okay so this is a situation about unbreaking work. So uh, um, your contract is going to be good. Whoever that was thinking about your contract. Um, this is a uh, um, Jupiter, uh, Saturn and Jupiter, which is very good. It is in the reverse. So um, that is going to be good. No ending is going to be coming in. So people who were worried about their contract, it's all going to be okay. All right. So if you were worrying about um, your contract being extended performance review, it is all going to be good. Then we have another energy in the month of May, six of pentacles. This is also good. And you have the six of cups. So number 66 is going to play a significant role in your life. Three times six is playing the significant role in your life. So in the month of May, month of May is going to be good because I see some sort of a payout could be coming in for you guys in the month of May. It is a wonderful, wonderful uh, situation. The month of May is resolving a whole lot of emotional issues um, with co-workers, um, work that was backed up, um, you can see um, that this is going to be good um, because what is happening and transpiring is that you are going to be recognizing that all the work that was backed up, all the things that was happening, it is going to be resolving in a very positive way because you're going to be recognizing all the possibilities. If you're looking for a job, you are going to be understanding all the possibilities that is going to be coming in. Um, that is going to be helping you, okay? So uh, work and business is uh, um, in April and May is uh, is very good because you have no um, regrets. I see issues with colleagues that some of you were having. Um, this issues with colleagues, co-workers, uh, um, waiting on work to come in, that sort of a thing is all going to be over. This is going to be changing. It's as if some of your work was backed up and now the workflow is going to be beginning and this is going to be good, okay? So as you recognize all the problems you were having with um, 
uh, customer service, uh, other people getting information, getting your work done. This is going to be resolved and all that was happening where there was backed up work and that sort of a thing. You're going to be recognizing how a very, very easy things are going to be moving now and things are going to be flowing. So this is going to be good. As we look at your cup energies, your cup energies have to do with um, the hardship, financial hardship. You're going to be balancing out your financial situation. You're going to be balancing out your financial hardship. The energy of the star is here protecting you, Aquarians, and guiding you. This is a, um, your um, a protector, the energy of the star energy. It is your protector. And what it's coming in and it's doing it's in the, the handle of the cap. And what it is saying is that your hardship is now over, okay? The heart breaks, the emotional situation that you were going through is now over at the workplace and things are going to be now balancing out and you are going to be moving in a positive direct direction that is going to be bringing in the wave of prosperity for you. So it was as if... Uh, Things was backed up, but people were waiting on other people for work. The workflow wasn't good because there was people that was having their own um, idealistic ideas that was transpiring and happening. People are now recognizing, hey, um, um, people are looking at things differently and realizing we need to make some change or we have to create um, a, a very possible and a very good work environment. And uh, um, a lot of you that was having um, issues in the, the work environment, as you leave the squatter, which is April, May, and June, um, it is going to be resolving in a very positivity. No one is leaving the, the job. The, the emotional situation that you were dealing with with co-workers is going to be over. Um, the art breaks and emotional problems with co-worker is going to be over because people are now recognizing and seeing the truth about uh, some sort of a on, um, a unrealistic situation with co-workers that was happening that was creating some sort of a problem for you, whether co-workers, former co-workers or present co-workers that you were dealing with. It is now going to be over because you see the energy of the heart rates is in reverse and a whole lot of help is going to be coming in. So there was some sort of an emotional um, situation that was bringing a lot of you Aquarian and is uh, creating a whole lot of issues for you Aquarian. But you stand your ground and you're taking back uh, um you're empowering yourself. You're standing your ground and empowering yourself. So a lot of you could have started a job where people were working, you know, against you and trying to block your um, uh, um, your position moving forward in in you know uh, um, ways where you were going to be achieving some sort of a, a positive alignment of energy, and now. What is transpiring is that these people, these co-workers, these uh, um, colleagues, um, it is going to be resolved because it, somehow some shift, some shift of energy is coming on the work floor. If you didn't have work and if you have your business, it was slowed down. It is going to be picking up now and people are going to be recognizing um, that it is. Um, it was just a time where a lot of you were going through some sort of unrealistic moments. Um, it does happen. It can happen. And people are going to be picking up the space now and it's going to be moving forward. And that is going to be helping a lot of you because a lot of you were kind of stunted, stunted in the growth of you moving forward and getting things done. So it is going to be a wonderful alignment of energy. However you look at, look at it, you're going to be recognizing that you're going to be dealing um, with um, issues and problems in a very positive way. You're going to be recognizing um, what was blocking you, how to release these blocks, and this is going to be um, really, really positive. So this is really a positive alignment of energies. There's no question um, that is asked because you are going to be recognizing 
where things went wrong and how to balance out these um, problems and situation. And you're going to be coming out really on top because you're going to be recognizing that um, you have what it takes to create um, financial stability in your world. So when we look at this energy and seeing that the wave of prosperity is here, it's going to be um, really wonderful because the wave of prosperity is showing up that you all can create whatever it is um, that you want to bring forward in your life, okay? Um, the energy of work, a lot of you that was out of work, offers of work is going to be coming in. A lot of you um, that was having problem with other colleagues that was creating drama in your world, this is going to be changing, so that is going to be good. A lot of you that was trying to um, resolve some sort of a um, um, misunderstanding on the work floor where work, the work process wasn't flowing, you're going to be resolving this and a lot of you are going to be really, really happy um, resolving these situations so that things can pick up and start moving forward on the work floor. So um, this is going to be good. There is no question um, about it. It is going to be a really um, a positive, positive alignment of energies because you're going to be recognizing the transition that is going to be coming up and how this transition is going to be create, creating new wave of stability in your world. And this is going to be good. It's as if some of you were always um, have to be waiting, um, always have to be doing other people work. This is going to be over because you're going to be recognizing, hey, I'm going to start focusing on my work. Um, if that person can't get their work done, um, it's not my problem. I am going to be finding ways and mean or bring in new people in order for my team to run smoothly. But you're going to be bringing back some sort of a project or imp um, um, uh, imposing some sort of a rules in order for things to flow in a positive direction. OK, so this is going to be good. Um, for a lot of you. So um, Aquarians, this is going to be a good portal. There's no question about it. This is why I say to a lot of people, reverse cards can be very, very good. It depends on what, where, and how. But as you recognize, this is going to be a period of uh, um, work is going to be flowing to you. Business is going to be flowing to you. Help is going to be coming in. Um, problems with other people is going to be resolved because people are going to be recognizing and working towards working in a team. And this is going to be good. Um, whatever issues that was transpiring um, on the work floor, this is going to be working out in a very positive way. Um, then we see your energy, which is the energy of the star and whatever problems that you were having, it's now um, going to be over. A lot of you were worried and having some sort of emotional problems with people on the work floor, client, customers, co-workers, but that is now going to be resolved in a positive way that is going to be giving you some sort of a lead way in order to resolve whatever issues that was happening and transpiring. So it is a very positive, positive situation. Um, a lot of you are going to be happy that some sort of a situation, a resolution is here. You're going to be moving forward unexpectedly. Um, all that you are looking for with a job or some sort of a new position is going to be opening up. And this is going to be taking you to a very, very positive uh, state of mind for a lot of you. Because a lot of you is going to be recognizing how very important it is to have inner peace when you're at the workplace. And you don't have to be having conflicts with other people co-workers and that everything is flowing in the correct way and the correct manner. So this is really, really positive. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that changes um, is going to be happening, but it has nothing to do with you. Who are you dealing with? You are dealing with a Virgo, um, a Taurus. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a Tauruses. 
and Virgos. Then we um recognizing um the heartbreaks. Um that is the Librans. Then we see uh, the Scorpions. Then we see you, Aquarian, trying to balance out and bring in that balance in situation. I got it, go. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, please be open to join the channel. Use the join button. Um, I'd love to see you on the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time.